What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be unboxing a comic book mystery box. Something that, again, I've wanted to get for the channel for a really long time, but also something I wanted to grow my personal collection with. Now, if you guys remember, earlier this year, I did order another comic book mystery box, the Zek box, that I think included maybe 15 to 20 comic books and a bunch of other stuff that I just was not interested in, and that one cost $120. This box here I ordered off of Amazon, and it cost $75 shipping included, and it's from Big Rob's Books for Searchlight Comics. I'll hopefully leave that link down below in the comments, so you guys can check this out as well if you want to purchase it. This includes 50 comic books total, 25 DC, and 25 Marvel comics. No indies, which is something that I definitely can appreciate. So hopefully I get a lot better stuff in this box than I did in the Zek box, but we're gonna open it up, take a closer look, and see what's inside. For me personally, you guys know I collect more Marvel, so I'm hoping the Marvel is stuff that I wanna keep in my collection, but at least the DC stuff, hopefully that stuff is gonna be stuff that I can at least read and still enjoy. So I'm just gonna open up the box here. We have a ton of comics. This box, is full. There's definitely 50 comics in here. So up first we have Star Trek issue number 33. I do not follow Star Trek. I don't really care about Star Trek, but that is a very cool comic book. I didn't know that was part of DC. Now I have a bunch that are not uh, bagged and boarded here, so we're going to try to get through those first. This one here is Absolution in Blood Starman. It has a very nice design. You guys know whenever it comes to comics, mostly I focus on the 90s. Uh, sorry, the 80s. This is 98, so a little bit uh, newer than what I usually go for. But the artwork is something that I absolutely love in comics. This one here is a very nice artwork. Next one here is another Star Trek one. This is uh, Next Generation, issue 39, 1992. Looks very cool. I think the artwork is going to be pretty cool inside it. It's just nothing that uh, I personally would want to collect. Next up... Amenthus. I don't know, it's hard to read just because of the fonts in the background there. But uh, it does look very cool. Um, I like the jewels there. Very nice artwork on this comic. It looks very cool. Next, the Spectre. Spectre. Um, it honestly looks like Doctor Doom right there. It even looks like the same powers as Doctor Doom, but... Uh, this one here is 93. Next up, we have Doctor Fates and the Blue Devil. That is cool. I like the artwork design. That's what I focus on whenever I go into comic book shops and I go and purchase things to add to my personal collection. If the artwork looks amazing, I'm gonna add it to my collection. So, so far there's a lot of great comics here. Ooh, Green Lantern. Ooh, that's cool. I like it's like a lowrider here. You guys know I'm a car guy. It's even called Joyride, so this is definitely gonna be an interesting one and I'm definitely gonna have to read this. Wow, that looks very cool. Next, we have Nightwing, issue uh, 94. This is the newest one so far, 2004. But it looks like it'd be a nice, uh, I don't know. I like the design of it. The artwork looks amazing, at least. Our first Superman of the day, Superman in Action Comics. Ooh, that looks cool. Nice fight scene on the cover. Um, all these comic books so far are in uh, pretty good condition. All I have to do is bag and board them, but uh, there's no tears, no rips. The staples aren't even rusty. Very good quality stuff from this guy. Uh, this one here is Justice League Europe. Um, didn't even know that was a thing, but here's the cover here. So a comic book that I never even heard of. Definitely gonna have to check this one out and take a closer look. Kinda looks like a, a Christmas, uh, yeah, December 1990. So you're gonna say there's a lot of Christmas presents in this one. So that's cool. We have another, another uh, Green Lantern and also another Christmas theme one. That looks amazing. That is a really nice cover. Look at that. Wow. That one. I can't wait to read that one. That is really cool. This is the uh, darkest looking one that I've seen. Um, doesn't even have a, a year on it. Oh, sorry. 2015. It does have a, new, a year on it. So this is the newest one. Gotham by Midnight. Not really into the darker uh, grim comics, but looks cool. I don't know if it's something personally I'm going to enjoy to read. Next, Superman of Steel. Ooh, Funeral for a Friends. Hmm. That one I'm definitely going to have to check out. 
and give it a read. 1993 there. Next up, we have Captain Carrots and his amazing zoo crew. Not even familiar with this. Does look pretty cool. Uh, I'm not even sure what year this is. It looks old. Yeah, it does look old. Not sure, I'm gonna have to look into it. It's uh, 60 cents, so one of the older ones that I have for uh, DC. Next, the Legion. Ooh, that looks very interesting. I think all the rest, or most of them, are gonna be bagged and boarded, which is something I definitely can appreciate. But that is nice artwork. I'm not sure what year this is. Sorry, it actually says 2009. That's cool. I'm gonna make a separate pile for the uh, bagged and boarded ones. Trying to go through this as quickly as I can, but I realize there's a ton of books here. This one is uh, Kong Gorilla. Not familiar with that whatsoever. Like the design though. Next up we have Deathstroke the Terminator. I only know a very little on Deathstroke, so that is very cool. But I've always liked his gear, um, his costume if you will. Next one here, the Spectre again. Bagged and boarded, I love this one here. Again, he looks like Doctor Doom to me. But I like how uh, it's a bunch of skeletons in the design of a skull on the background. So that's very cool. Definitely going to have to check out them. Um, because it looks like Doctor Doom, I think it's something that hopefully I'll like if it's not too dark. Um, ooh, this one's cool. Flashpoint, Dead Man, and the Flying, the flying uh, Graysons. Kind of like a carnival-ish. Uh, design to it. Hmm. Next one here, the Warlord. Not familiar whatsoever. It's issue number one though, so that's very interesting. Um, I like the design of it. The artwork looks amazing. Next, the Shade. More of a newer comic, but nonetheless, it does look amazing. Love the design of these. Even though I'm not into DC, I'm more into Marvel. I do appreciate these comics so far, all the DC ones. The Society of Superheroes. Um, I thought that was uh, Deathstroke on it, but it's not. I have no idea who these are, but definitely something that's I'll check out. Um, it has the newer, oh, 2014. That's not bad. The Atom Legends. That's a really nice artwork design right there. That looks amazing. We're gonna have to check this one out. Wow, that looked cool. Next, uh, Arion, the Immortal, I think. He's kind of covering it up there. Really looks like Doctor Strange to me. Really does. Wow. Definitely resembles him here. That is crazy. Next up, we have Aquaman, issue number 11. That is a nice fight scene right there. He's fighting a, uh, looks like almost like a prehistoric uh, monster, so that looks really cool. I really enjoy Aquaman. It's just some of his original stuff is hit or miss for me. Um, but that's all of the DC books. So we started with DC. Now it looks like everything is going to be Marvel. So up first, we have Wolverine. You guys know I absolutely love Wolverine. Look at that. Looks like he's been sliced up a little bit, just had a fight or something. His eyes are red, so he might be evil in this one. I am not sure. Hmm, that's definitely really cool. I'm going to have to check that out. Um, we do have one that's not bagged or boarded here. Demon Days X-Men. And it is a variant edition, issue number one. Um, it looks more cartoony than it does for more of the comic books that I like, and it does have a little bit of damage here. There's a little bend to it, but for it being the first book that has slight damage to it, I can't complain about that whatsoever because all the other ones are in perfect condition, even the ones that are not bagged and boarded. The Incredible Hulk. You guys know I absolutely love The Incredible Hulk. Issue number 19. That looks amazing. Psych out. Wow. So it looks like he's fighting, uh, trying not to turn into the Incredible Hulk, but uh, of course the Hulk's winning. Wow, that looks like it's going to be a nice, nice comic book to read. Next we have Wolverine again. Ooh, Wolverine and also Speedballs in this one. That's cool. I like the design of these. I like comic books in general. As long as it's Marvel, uh, that's usually what I focus on. Another Incredible Hulk, 
issue number 454, 1997. That's a nice design. Um, it looks like he's fighting Wolverine. That's awesome. I used to have uh, the Incredible Hulk versus uh, Wolverine. Ended up selling that one, not for a lot, $25 a few years back. But uh, I always liked those comic books where it had uh, Wolverine and the Incredible Hulk fighting. Next here, um, it actually doesn't say a name of it. All it says is Marvel Comics Presents and then the artwork. Kind of looks like Captain America-ish. Uh, more of an armored suit though. I'm not sure who these are. Hmm. Very cool artwork. Gonna have to check that out and take a closer look. Uh, next, we do have another one that's not bagged or boarded. The Marvel's Project. Ooh, that looks cool. Has a really retro uh, design to it. That's really cool. Next up, we have Iron Man issue. That's a weird issue. Issue 258.4. Wow. That's interesting. I'm going to have to check this out. I definitely think I got my money's worth for this box as opposed to my last comic book mystery box. So definitely expect to see a lot more orders from this guy here. This one here has a little damage in the corner, but not on the comic book itself, only the bag. The Invincible Iron Man. I like that. 97 as well. Like I said, I like the 80s stuff more, but these are definitely amazing comics. Wow, this looks amazing. The Mutant Agenda Spider-Man. Wow. You have Beast, it looks like Green Goblin, and Spider-Man. Wow, that is incredible. Huge crossover right there. That looks like it'd be amazing. This is issue number two. So that is cool. X-Men's Beast is in there. Next up, we have Fantastic Four, which I absolutely love. Issue number 366. Kind of looks like there's an evil, uh, evil one here. That looks cool. Hmm. Definitely going to have to check out this and see what the story's about. Wow. Amazing quality on all of these as well, I must add. 97 as well, the Avengers. A huge fight scene there. Thor, Captain America, Iron Man. That's all I see on the cover, but definitely love the design of that. Still a lot of books left. This is definitely worth the price for me. The Secret Defenders. Ooh, issue number two. I like Wolverine there, that looks cool. I like that version of his costume. That, in my opinion, looks the best. But definitely something I'm gonna have to check out. Next up we have, ooh, that's cool. Spider-Man, the Black Cat Strikes. This is from the Gamerverse, so very curious as if this follows the story of the PS4 video game, the first one, or if it follows the DLC from the first one, because it looks like it's the uh, villain from the uh, DC, but definitely something I'm gonna be checking out because I absolutely love the video game, and it, that's what it looks like that is for. The Runaways, unfamiliar with, but definitely worth checking out because it's Marvel, something I'm definitely gonna have to take a look at. Wow. Marvel Spotlight, Captain America Remembered. Ooh, that's gonna be a nice read right there. I like the design of it. Wow, you have all the uh, comic books in the background here, and then you have a shield. That's really cool. That is one of my best covers I have out of this box so far, I think. We have Wolverine, issue 91. This is really cool. This is nice. I absolutely love this. Now the one thing I will say, just by looking at it, it looks like the alignment is uh, an issue, the barcode is cut off, but that doesn't matter to me, that's a nice artwork. Definitely something I'm proud to have in my collection, for sure. Next up we have the Heroic Age Thunderbolts. It has Juggernaut on the cover, that is cool. I don't think I have many comic books with Juggernauts. The only one I think is Venom, where Venom fights Juggernauts. Um, I think I received that out of the Zek box, actually. I think that's one of the only comics I liked out of that box. This one here, I absolutely love everything. Angela, Queen of Hell. Not familiar with that whatsoever. Does look like it's going to be a badass comic though. I absolutely love the design. So, amazing quality in all of these, I must say. Uh, Fantastic Four, doesn't really have a name. Marvel Knights, uh, issue number seven. 
that's really cool. It looks like it's going to be a darker comic, but still Fantastic Four, I absolutely love. Definitely going to be checking that out. We have one that is uh, not bagged and boarded. Uh, Thunderbolts issue 172. This is uh, looks like the 15 year anniversary, so that's cool. Nice fight scene there. I'm not familiar with Thunderbolts, but since I have it, definitely gonna have to check it out and give it a quick read. I think we only have a few comics left. Next is the Wolverine issue number six. Uh, this one here is a newer comic, but still has a nice fight scene there. That is crazy. Wow, looks cool. Definitely gonna have a nice read here. Guardians of the Galaxy. I might actually have this comic book. This is issue number 12. It looks amazing. I actually have issue number 1 to 25 uh, without missing anything in the middle of Guardians of the Galaxy, but I'm not sure if this is a different uh, storyline or something, so I'm gonna have to check. This one might I might actually have, but everything else, no doubles in my personal collection, and for there being 50 comics in this box, I got no doubles whatsoever, so that's really cool. We have, ooh, this one's a thick one. Uh, not bagged and boarded, but that doesn't matter to me. Children of the Atom. That's a thick one. That's going to be a nice book to read. Damn. I think that's going to be very awesome. I like the design. I like the artwork of all of these. And the last one is X-Men number 59. Newer comic once again, but still. Very, very cool. Looks like the things here. So that's definitely going to be a nice read. Yeah, it does include Fantastic Four. Very impressive, these comic books from this guy. That is amazing. So these are all of the comic books that I got out of this box. In my opinion, this was an amazing deal. Definitely worth the price. Again, this was $75 to have this shipped from the United States to Canada. Obviously, if you are in the United States, it's going to be probably a lot cheaper for you to get this box. But for $75, 25 DC books, 25 Marvel books, 50 comic books in total, no duplicates, and only one or two that were not bagged and boarded that had slight damage to them. That to me is amazing quality and an amazing service to definitely grow a collection. Whether you're a beginner or you're somebody that collects for a really long time, this is definitely a great option for you, especially in my area. There's not too many good comic book stores, and a lot of the time, even comic books from the 80s, cheap comic books that should be around a dollar, they're overpricing them. They're about $5 a book, and to me, that is a crazy price. Getting a mystery box like this and getting 50 random comic books, Marvel and DC, no indies, is definitely a great alternative. Again, this is from Big Rob's Books on Amazon. You can also search Spotlight Comics on Amazon, I believe, find them. And I'm hopefully going to remember to leave them linked down in the comments below or at least in the description for you guys. So if you guys want to purchase this, you guys can check them out as well. Now, out of all of these books, I am definitely excited more for the Marvel, like I've already mentioned, but I'm at least going to check out and read some of the DC ones and pick and choose which ones I want to keep in my personal collection. For the most part, all of the Marvel books are likely going to stay in my personal collection because I don't own any of them. And for the DC ones to add to my personal collection, I'm going to pick and choose some of them. Likely things like Green Lantern, Superman, and a few ones like that, ones that I know more of, but I'm definitely going to check out some of the ones that I don't know, and who knows, I might enjoy them and want to add them to my collection and try to find more of those comic books in the future. I will definitely be ordering from him again in the future and unboxing them on the channel because I finally found a comic book mystery box that is 100% worth getting. So thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.